Good morning everyone, Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything and it's uh, probably about 75 degrees here in Texas already this morning. We are headed to around 107 I think they said with a heat index around 113. Brutal, brutal. It's uh, just too dang hot uh, but we do expect a cold front coming in around Tuesday. Looking very forward to that. It's going to drop us down into the low 60s and uh, the low 80s during the day. So very excited for that um we have some news we uh, did get the high tunnel this week and uh it came in i think monday but uh it's just going to be too hot for my husband to try to get out there today so that's going to be our next weekend's project but during the week he'll be roping off here where he needs to set his post and uh, then saturday we will uh start the project next saturday so i'll be doing a video on that and uh, we're very very excited and i think there's a bug on me but anyway we have some other news that we want to share with you. See this right here? This is the uh, conservation plan from the NRCS EQUIP program. My husband and I, back in April, applied for, um, it's not really a grant, it is assistance uh, for another high tunnel. So we are going to be having two high tunnels here on the property. This high tunnel here is going to be our personal high tunnel where we're gonna get uh, our family vegetables and for our friends and stuff. But on our back acre, we're gonna put up a high tunnel that's gonna support our community. And that is part of the EQUIP program uh, that is sponsored through the USDA NRCS. Um, as some of you may not know what a high tunnel is, it is like a, it's a, like a greenhouse, but uh, some of you may call them hoop houses and uh, they use uh, plastic and uh, it is supposed to help you extend your growing season, um, especially in the, in the places up north. And, uh, but here in Texas, we think that it's not only gonna extend our growing season, it's gonna help us to probably grow year around if that's what we choose to do. And we're certainly gonna try that. It's gonna be a learning process for us. We're excited about it. So this would be great to get up going. And then probably November, December timeframe, we'll be putting up a hoop house out on the back acre with the help of the uh, USDA and RCS EQUIP program. Now, if you're interested in that for your area, reach out to the USDA and talk to them and see what uh, they can offer you as far as assistance goes. Um, some of the agreements that are part of this EQUIP program is that we agree that for the first four years of this high tunnel, this one on our back acre, we will uh, support our community with uh, fresh vegetables and um, and just uh, try to take care of uh, the people around us and uh, we will get to sell it. So it'll help uh, support us too. And it uh, looks like it may be uh, my retirement project because if we are successful with this high tunnel and the one back there, we're probably going to increase uh, the high tunnels on our property. And, and we figured that we can get at least six. Not that I know that I can work six high tunnels, but um, if it looks like it's gonna be a, a, a prosperous um, uh, venture, then who knows? Who knows where we'll go? So we got lots of great things going on here at North Texas Vegetable Gardening for you guys uh, to watch and to follow along with. And, and hopefully we can all learn from each other. So we ask that if you want to go on this journey with us, that you click that subscribe button so that uh, you will know whenever we have uh, posted a new video. Actually, post, click the little bell button and that'll tell you when we posted a new video. But if you subscribe to us, um, you'll, you'll also get notifications too. Um, Really, really good things God uh, is giving us right now. Um, I intend to go back to work probably around September the 22nd. Of course, that is subject to change depending on uh, the situation, the world situation. We'll see, and, but uh, if I get to go back, it's gonna be 50% of the time. I'm excited about that. And we just pray that everybody stays healthy here in the DFW area. Um, numbers are starting to go down here. Uh, we do have a couple of spiky days, but for, uh, for the most part, we're going down here in the DFW Metroplex. Now the kiddos are starting back to school, um, and as people start to return back to work and colleges uh, start, people start going back, you know, it's subject to change. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, we are preparing as best as we can uh, to take care of ourselves and to take care of our family and our friends and now our community, which is something we have wanted to do all along. Um, gosh, I can't, I just can't uh, emphasize to you how thankful we are, you know, for the Lord uh, who is providing all of this for us and, and helping us get all this lined out uh, and, and quite possibly our retirement year income. 
So uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, do something today I have not done in almost six months. I'm going to the grocery store. And a uh, little nervous, a little apprehensive, but I'm going. Um, we have to wear a mask here in, in uh, our area and in the D D uh, blah, 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 DFW area. So I'll wear my mask. I'm going to go browse through the grocery store. I'm going to get me some good lunch stuff and some good breakfast stuff. Um, because quite honestly, I haven't uh, taken real good care of myself since I've been working from home. I'm a nibbler and I just kind of go and grab things. And, uh, and I need to start getting back on my healthy uh, kick. And I need to start exercising again. And I need to get prepared for going back to work. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. We are continuing to watch those seeds uh, on the video I did yesterday on how they are germinating and your survival seeds and whether they'll help you survive or not. Uh, so stay tuned to that. I'll do an update probably next weekend and we'll see if any more of them have decided to germinate. Take care. God bless. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, we're praying for you. Continue to pray for us. We uh, need God to give us direction and we need him to uh, show us uh, what to do with all these blessings he's given us. And uh, so stay tuned. Walk this with us. Take care. God bless. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.